Hi babies. I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, I know it's been a while since the last video, so um, nagkaroon na tayo ng time to record another. So, eto na tayo. I've decided to um, make this video um, just to share with you yung mga lessons na natutunan ko within the past few months na nagsimula tayong magkaroon ng sarili nating Facebook page and other social media platforms. So, um, when I was still sharing my stories dun sa isang malaking Facebook page, um, I was encouraged by a few people to um, create my own um, Facebook page. I was actually reluctant at first kasi um, wala naman tayong alam tungkol dyan sa mga bagay na yan, right? But um, because of their encouragement, um, I was able to, with the help of them, create a platform meant for sharing stories, poetry, articles, quotes, videos, everything. Everything under the sun. Tapos, nagkaroon din tayo ng YouTube channel um, na natanggal before and then we were able to get back sa game and we created another one. And ito na nga itong channel na to. So, aside from that, meron din tayong um, Wattpad account. Um, I was also encouraged by the same people before um, to create an account sa Wattpad for me to be able to upload my stories there. Um, although updated na ako sa first two books um, and one of us is lying is also there and tapos na siya. So when you read it, tori tolina. Um, my current book I have two books and uh, sinusulat ko ngayon. Um, they're still in the process of uploading the recent episodes. So, um, thank you babies for all your patience. Paghihintay na ma-upload silang lahat. And of course, I still have my other book which is Patama. It's a collection of um, hugot, quotes, and anything na tatama sa'yo. Tatama sa puso mo. So, I mentioned earlier na um, I'm doing this video to share with you guys yung lessons na natutunan ko this past few months. I know when you create something on social media, you become a public figure. Um, and everyone looks at you as if na ikaw yung role model nila, something like that. And it's hard, sa totoo lang, to manage a page um, na ganun kalaki. Um, we started before na ilan lang yung followers natin. And now we are currently at 3.7 thousand followers. And it's continually growing every single day. So, alam mo yun, mas nagiging malawak na yung reach ng page. And that was the main goal of it though, to be able to reach a lot more people, para mas marami pa tayong people na ma-inspire, matulungan, uh, mabigyan ng good vibes. Um, Siyempre, kapag may times na sobrang ganda na nangyayari sa page, meron din namang certain times na nato-challenge din yung page itself. Like for example, um, some followers or some senders, hindi tayo nagkakasundo or hindi tayo nagkakaunawaan. We have those misunderstandings. And all of those, they're normal. Because like what I always say, I'm different from you and you are different from me. And the both of us are different from all other people. So yung differences na yun, 
in thoughts, in opinions, doon tayo nagkakatalo minsan. And doon nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding. So, one of the things that I learned is to be more patient. I know some people would say, hmm, madali lang naman magbigay ng pasensya, di ba, misunderstanding. Actually, mahirap. Alam mo yung ine-extend mo yung pasensya mo uh, sa ibang tao, pero may iksi yung pasensya nila sa'yo in return. So, di ba parang asan yung balance doon? Like, isa lang yung talaga nagbibigay ng pangunawa, samantala yung isa, hindi. So, bukod pa doon sa pinagtatalunan nyo, magka-clash pa kayo because of that. Um, bakit ba important ang maging patient? Kahit naman, siguro masasabi ko, kasi sanay naman kayo sa akin na when I write my stories, hindi ko siya sinusulat ng isang buo. Meron siyang, like everyday siyang ina-update. So everyday to be continued. And sa tingin ko, sanay na kayo na babies ko dun sa way kung paano ako magsulat. So I think all of you are really patient people, as in. And I commend all of you for being patient. Kasi hindi lahat ng tao kayang maghintay. Hindi lahat ng tao kayang magbigay ng pasensya sa kapwa niya. So isa yun sa mga natutunan ko. Kung patient na ako, mas kailangan ko pa siyang doblehin, mas kailangan ko pa siyang triplehin. Another thing that I learned is to not trust too much. I know it's a gray area when we talk about trust, right? Madami kasing klase ng trust eh. Trust towards your coworker, trust towards your friends, trust towards um, mga um, karelasyon mo, or asawa mo, or family mo. So, madaming klase ng trust. And then, there's also distrust to your own self, kung tawagin nila. So, like what I said, madaming klase yan. And, hindi lahat ng tao kayang magtiwala. Lalo na, kapag ang taong yun ay um, madami ng sakit na napagdaanan sa buhay niya, there is this... Um, force na nag-hold back sa kanya para makapag-trust muli. And because hindi niya mabigay yung full trust niya dun sa taong yun. Oh, sige. Let's just give an example. Let's say, merong isang couple, LDR sila. I know we've talked about LDR relationships way back before sa mga earlier videos, but let's just give an example na ganun. So, number one, when you're in an LDR relationship, trust ang pinaka-importante dyan. Why? Kasi, how can you love someone na hindi mo kasama? Diba? Parang, pwede ba yun, Miss Anding? Actually, pwede siya. Pwede ka magmahal ng taong di mo pa nakikita or ng taong matagal mo nang hindi nakikita. Pwede mo pa rin siyang mahalin. But the trust... That's a total different story. Kasi once na yung trust ay, for example, na challenge, doon na magsisimula na mag-increase yung doubts. Parang ano lang yan eh. Picture it as a weighing scale. Yung isang side is the trust. Dapat mas mabigat yun, di ba? And then the other side are the doubts sa relationship. So, kapag mas madami yung doubts, mas mabigat siya, nawawala yung trust. So, kapag nawala yung trust, what's gonna happen? Siyempre, lagi kayong mag-aaway, lagi kayong magtatalo, and then, what's next? It's either you fix it, or you don't. Diba? So, para sa akin, um, it's really hard to give my full trust towards someone 
lalo pa at they're exhibiting behaviors na kine-question ko tuloy yung trust na bibigay ko sa kanya. Something like that. Like, I know gusto kong pagkatiwalaan yung tao kasi in a way, importante siya sa akin. Or in a way, parang I wanna give her the benefit of the doubt. Something like that. Pero dumarating pa rin talaga yung point na mati-challenge talaga yung trust mo dun sa tao. Like for example, they're gonna say you these things and then you'll hear from other people other things. So I know it's hard na makinig sa iba when in fact, eto na nga siya nag explain sa sa'yo, right? Yung person of interest mo, something like that. Pero sige, pagpalagay natin na pinigyan mo siya ng chance to explain herself sa'yo not once, not twice, multiple times. A lot. Parang ganun. Madaming beses. But then, pinapakita niya sa'yo na iba yung ginagawa niya versus sa sinasabi niya sa'yo. So, doon pumapasok yung sinasabi natin na action speaks louder than words. Right? Like, ako kasi yung tipo ng tao na when you tell me stuff, na gagawin mo, you should do it. Like, I'm expecting you to actually do it. Kasi, why on earth are you gonna tell me this and then do the exact opposite thing? I mean, naglalokohan ba tayo? Diba? Nakakaloko lang. So, isa yun sa mga natutunan ko to not trust too much. Siguro I would trust someone but not that much anymore. Um, even with my relationship. Like, gusto kong ibigay yung full trust ko sa tao. But then, if they don't give me their full trust, then nasan yung balance in a weighing scale? Wala, diba? Parang imbalance siya lagi. And then that imbalance, that imperfection will cause fights, will cause arguments, and will cause misunderstandings. So, alam mo yun, nagpapatong-patong siya. So, another thing that I learned is to be more understanding. Like, sanay ako na ilagay yung position ko sa position nung taong lumalapit sa akin or nung taong affected kapag nag-open up siya sa akin or kapag nag-share siya ng thoughts niya or struggles niya, I listen and then I put myself sa shoes niya. It's the only way that I'll be able to understand this person completely. Mahirap kasi na magbigay ka ng subjective opinion over some things when in fact, the person needs an objective na opinion. Alam mo yun, I mean, hindi mo pwedeng ilagay yung personal mong opinion. It's because, well, sometimes the issues can be sensitive. So, yun ang ginagawa ko ngayon. Like, I put myself dun sa place nila. And then, I would see kung ano yung mararamdaman ko before I would even say a thing. So, apart from that, I also learned na... Alam niyo yung quote na the end doesn't justify the means? Well, ang ibig sabihin nun, um, kahit ano pa yung goal mo in life, yung in-between sa ngayon at pag na-reach mo yung goal mo, ano ba yung importansya nun sa'yo? Like, are you gonna do what it takes just to reach that goal? What I meant when I say, do what it takes, is that, are you gonna step on someone? Are you gonna hurt someone? Just for you to be able to reach that goal? So, parang ang akin lang. I'm always saying that we have to be kind to one another. Kasi hindi natin alam yung struggles ng bawat isa. Like most of us have struggles that we battle in silence. Like, hindi natin sinasabi sa madaming tao, but we're battling those struggles 
behind our happy face. And that, my friends, babies, yun ang pinakamahirap na um, klase ng pagharap sa tao. Like for myself, nag-work ako as a nurse, right? So, if I'm hurt, if I'm emotionally hurt, at aharap ako sa pasyente, I can't show them na I'm struggling within. Like, I have to put that sad face behind and then choose the happy face forward, which is very difficult sometimes. So, yun ang parang sinasabi ko, um, before you make a decision, before you say something towards someone, mas maganda, I mean, mas ideal if pag-iisipan mo muna ng mabuti yung sinasabi mo. I know sometimes nadadala tayo ng emotion natin, ng anger natin, ng hurt na nararamdaman natin. Kaya nakakapagbitaw tayo ng mga salita na hindi natin alam na nakakasakit na ng kapwa natin. Like, sige, naitawid mo, naiparating mo yung mensahe mo. Pero the way you did that affected a lot of people. Like, may mga taong nasaktan dun sa process na yun. That's what I meant when I said, um, the end doesn't justify the means. Like, are you gonna do whatever it takes para maiparating mo tong mensahe na to to the point that you're gonna hurt the person? To the point that you're gonna break the person? Maiparating mo lang tong message mo? Or, you could always choose a nicer, calmer, kinder path. Of saying things. Pero dahil nagpalamon tayo sa galit or sa inis or sa height of their emotion, dun tayo parang nakakapagbitaw ng mga salita na siguro intended man natin na saktan talaga yung tao or hindi, nabibitawan na natin yung salita. And then, the damage will stay forever. Hindi basta-basta makakalimutan ng tao yun. Like for myself, um, if somebody offended me, hindi hindi ko makakalimutan yung sinabi niya. I may forgive the person, I may forget the person, which is also rare for my side, but I will never forget what the person had said. Kasi um, being offended is a negative feeling Nasaktan ka over something or over um, a statement. So, yun nga yung sinasabi ko when I say um, we should be cautious with whatever we're trying to um, send messages to another person. Paano natin iparating yung thought natin um, will greatly affect yung end result. Parang ganun. Siguro sa iba sa inyo, you're gonna get it, but most of you probably would say, ano ba yung sinasabi niya, hindi, hindi ko maintindihan. Eh, ano naman kung anong way ko para sabihin yun? At least nasabi ko, di ba? I know, but then, you have to think to yourself, o oh, sige, nasabi mo na yung gusto mo. What did you feel after you've said that? Did you feel remorse? Did you feel better? Kasi nasabi mo yung gusto mong sabihin? Or did you feel hurt as well? Kasi you know to yourself na hindi ikaw yung taong yun. You're a better person than you already are. So that person na nasa height of emotion is not you. So yun yung mga tanong na pwede mong tanungin sa sarili mo after mo na iparating yung message na gusto mo. And then as days go by, it'll gonna get heavier on you. I don't know, but negative vibes, hindi yan nawawala sa katawan natin. Hindi yan natatanggal sa isip natin, sa puso natin. Lagi yang nandyan. So, pag feed natin yung negativity sa isip natin, sa puso natin, ang lalabas sa bibig natin is also negative. So, siguro, It's always nice na to think happy and positive thoughts. 
I know it's very um, hard to say because um, we're still in the middle of a pandemic and the world is not the same as it was before and people continually change. I'm continually changing myself. So, alam mo yun, mahirap mag-adjust. Mahirap mag-adjust, Miss Andeng. It's true. I would agree to that. Pero kaya nga tayo may support system, right? Kaya nga tayo merong page just to be able to share yung positive vibes na gusto nating i-share despite of the negativities in the world. And nasa sayo yan. Nasa tao yan. So, I think I'll end this video here. Um, like what I always say, always be kind to one another kasi in a world full of hatred, cruelty, and injustice, a simple act of kindness to someone can really mean a lot to them. I know... I'm sorry if I'm distancing myself uh, from some negativities in my life. Kasi tao lang din ako. Nasasaktan din ako. Hindi naman ako si super ending. <laughs> Kaya nang sinasabi nila na may super power na wag masaktan. Kung meron bang ganun, di why not, di ba? Siguro lahat tayo may ganun. But since ako ay si ending lamang, I also need to Um, step back and find my own peace within myself. Pero what I meant when I say stepping back is not like mawawala ako or whatnot. No. Um, it's just that I would lessen my time communicating um, with certain people. Siguro, I'll start from there and then adjust as I go on. Kasi parang, ayoko namang isipin nila na parang bumitaw na lang ako sa kanila. No, I also need to recuperate for my own self. I also need to um, find my own self or find my own peace within myself. And I know naman na naiintindihan niyo yung sinasabi ko kasi... Lagi ko naman kayong iniintindi. I try to be as fair as I can be to each and every one of you. Mapa sender ka man, mapa follower ka man, mapa admin ka man, or mapa partner man kita. So everybody gets fair treatment. So thank you babies for listening. I know this is a very long conversation but i hope i was able to shed some light i hope i was able to help you na maintindihan yung mga bagay-bagay na alam ko ang nagbaba bumabagabag sa iyo and nabubulol na ako na bumabagabag sa iyo um you are a strong person you're a beautiful person you're an amazing person you are wanted you are loved and you matter. Always remember that. Wag na wag mong kakalimutan yan. And when everything um, falls back, or when everything fails, just look up and pray. Kasi yung mga bagay na hindi na masagot natin bilang tao, Si God lang ang makakasagot niyan. And He will never fail us. He will never fail you. So, I would say, pray. Na you find peace within yourself. Na you finally have to bring that love back within you. And release that hate. Release that anger. And release that negative vibe. I know you can do it. I know we can do it. I know we can do it in a matter of time. So again, thank you babies for listening. Mahal ko kayo. Take care.